Blessings. Blessings, blessings, beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson of the Smurf Family. International, interactive ministry where we do read the word of God, beloved, seven minutes every day. So you do not have to read. Today's read is for May the 16th, May the Thursday, May the 16th, 2024, reading from the King James Version of the Word of God, 1 Corinthians, the 14th chapter. Seven minutes, and it reads, Now follow after charity, and desire spiritual gifts, but rather that ye may prophesy. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto God. For no man understandeth him, howbeit in the spirit he speaketh mysteries. But he that prophesieth speaketh unto men, to edification and exhortation and comfort. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifieth himself, but he that prophesies edifieth the church. Now I would that ye all spake with tongues, but rather that ye prophesied. For greater is he that prophesied than he that speaketh with tongues, except the interpretation that the church may receive edifying. Now, brethren, if I come unto you speaking with tongues, what shall I profit you, except I shall speak to you either by revelation, or by knowledge, or by prophesying, or by doctrine? And even things without life-giving sound, whether pipe or harp, except they give a distinction in the sounds, how shall it be known what is piped or harped? For if the trumpet give an uncertain sound, who shall prepare himself to the battle? So likewise, ye, except ye utter by the tongue words easy to be understood, how shall it be known what is spoken? For ye shall speak into the air. Now there are, it may be, so many kinds of voices in the world, and none of them is without signification. Therefore, if I know not the meaning of the voice, I shall be unto him that speaketh a barbarian, and he that speaketh shall be a barbarian unto me. For even so, ye, for as much as ye are zealous of the spiritual gifts, seek that ye may excel to the edifying of the church. Wherefore, let him that speaketh in an unknown tongue pray that he may interpret. For if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit prayeth not, but my understanding is unfruitful. So what is it then? I will pray with the spirit, and I will pray with understanding also. I will sing with the spirit, and I will sing with the understanding also. Else, when thou shalt Blessed with the Spirit, how shall he that occupieth the room of the unlearned say, Amen? At thy giving of thanks, seeing thee understandeth not what thou sayest. For thou verily givest thanks well, but the other is not edified. I thank my God I speak with tongues more than unto ye all. Yet in the church I had rather speak five words with my understanding, that by my voice I might teach others also. Then ten thousand words in an unknown tongue. But brethren, be not children in understanding, howbeit in malice be ye children, but in understanding be men. In the law it is written, With men of other tongues and other lips will I speak unto this people, and yet for all that will they not hear me, saith the Lord. Wherefore, tongues are for a sign, not to them that believe, but to them that believe not. But prophesying, serveth not for them that believe not, but for them which believe. If therefore the whole church be come together into one place, and all speak with tongues, and there come in those that are unlearned or unbelievers, will they not say that ye are mad? But if all prophesy, and there come in one that believeth not, or one unlearned, he is convinced of all, he is judged of all. And thus are the secrets of his heart made manifest. And so falling down on his face, he will worship God and report that God is in you of a truth. Now, is it then, brethren, how, how is it then, brethren, when ye come together, every one of you hath a song, hath a doctrine, hath a tongue, hath a revelation, hath an interpretation. Let all things be done unto edifying. If any man speak in an unknown tongue, let it be by two or at the most by three, 
and that by course, and let one interpret. But if there be no interpreter, let him keep silence in the church, and let him speak to himself and to God. Now let the prophet speak two or three, and let the other judge. If anything be revealed to another that sitteth by, let the first hold his peace. For ye may all prophesy one by one, that all may learn and all may be comforted. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace as in all churches of the saints. Let your women keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak. But they are commanded to be under obedience, as also saith the law. We're not under law. And if they will learn anything, let them also ask their husbands at home, for it is a shame for women to speak in the church. What? Came the word of God out from you, or came it unto you only? For any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual, let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. But if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. Wherefore, brethren, covet to prophesy. And forbid not to speak with tongues. Let all things be done decently and in order. Chapter 15. Now more of the brethren, I declare unto you the gospel, which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. And that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures. And that he was seen of Cephas, then of the twelve. After that he was seen of about five hundred brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain unto the present, but some are fallen asleep. And after that he was seen of James, then of all the apostles. apostles. And last of all, he was seen of me also, as one born out of due time. For I am the least of the apostles that am not meet to be called an apostle because I persuaded the church of God. I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain, but I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. May the Lord add a blessing to you, the hearer, me, the reader of this precious and sacred word of God. We're going to stop it right there. We're going to stop it right there. I was hoping we was going to get through, but it's too much to get through 15. So tomorrow, tomorrow, which will be the last reading for the week, across all these platforms, I only read through Friday. So tomorrow we will be resuming on 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter and the 11th verse says it is 246 i do apologize i don't know what the time just 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 the time lord jesus praise god this is how you can be a blessing if you are enjoying these meals that you are having with me every day you come on and you fellowship and you break bread and you eat your lunch with me and you fill your bellies with the word of god every day and then you're going about your business <laughs> going about your business oh i can't wait till she come back tomorrow we're gonna have some more good food on tomorrow it's gonna be a blessing and it is but i need you to be a blessing god has afforded me the privilege the opportunity to go to africa the first of june the lord willing and he delay is coming i will be flying to abuja nigeria i need some money praise god so there's other things you can do if you don't want to sew then the beautiful pieces of jewelry, the beautiful, beautiful pieces of jewelry that you see me wear every day, I call them my blings, call them my blings, $5, $5, go to 7minutebling.com, 7minutebling, pay close attention to how we spell the seven. You can go to 7minutebling.com and purchase these $5, $5 sets, they do come in little sets, five dollars then you can get some more updated earrings and bracelets and re rings all of those things five dollars five dollars that's how you can be a blessing come back and look for the commentary on the youtube channel smrf it will say smrf smrf hyphen c f m r f hyphen c is how we spell the smurf 
See you then. Praise God. God bless.